And now at 630, we are following this breaking news. I want you to look at your screen right now. A massive fire in Dallas overnight. It could be seen for miles around the city. Good morning. I'm Kara Sewell. And I'm Mark Istook. And firefighters are still on the scene mm -hmm. right now. Just about a mile and a half from Dallas Love Field. Chris Sadegi has been on the scene for hours now. Chris, we've seen that there are still it appears flames burning behind you. What's the latest? Oh yeah, Mark, a long night for Dallas Fire Rescue as they have been battling this fire since last night and all through the morning. And you can see the smoke still very thick. They've been able to knock the flames down quite a bit, but the wind will occasionally cause those flames to fire back up. About 30 minutes ago, we did get a big update from Dallas Fire Rescue. They did tell us multiple people called in last night reporting that pallets were on fire, those wooden pallets here in this business park that is near Brook Hollow Golf Club, just to the southwest of Dallas Love Field Airport. This is what they arrived to see, a fire already advanced in its stages. 60 to 70 firefighters were called to the scene. Utility companies as well here to shut off gas and power to make sure that it was a safe situation for these DFR crews. But the flames were so big they could be seen for miles. Take a look at these videos posted to social media taken from a distance. It shows you the scale of this fire. Dallas Fire Rescue says at least six buildings in this lot have suffered damage. The good news is, though, everyone is accounted for right now. No reported injuries. Now, I mentioned we're right near Love Field Airport. The airport did tell us they don't expect any operations to be affected by this big plume of smoke. But if you're in the Love Field area, you'll see it. You'll probably smell it as well. As for what caused the fire, that is unknown right now. It will be investigated, but right now, Dallas Fire Rescue, still their primary mission right now, just getting this fire completely out. Kara, back to you. Yeah, and that has taken some time. Chris, we appreciate the update. Um, we're going to stay on top of this story throughout the day as we check in with those firefighters. As soon as they can get a chance to talk to Chris, we're going to get any new information straight to your phone with our WFAA app. For now, though, we do want to get over to meteorologist Mario Ruiz. And, you know, Chris did mention the wind this morning. In fact, we were watching and we could see his shirt moving around. Uh, so that is something they've been contending with. Yeah, unfortunately, not just when we're talking about fighting the actual fire, but then the smoke plume that the wind is going to push around. So I'm going to take you here. This is where Love Field is. Just for some perspective, there's I-35E. And uh, I'm going to zoom out and show you the rest of the Metroplex because of course when we're talking about wind speeds and the smoke plume, it's going to impact areas just outside of where that immediate fire is. So I, I mapped out some of the wind speeds that we're seeing wind gusts right now near Richardson about eight miles per hour, but DFW has reported a 20 mile per hour wind gust today, 18 mile per hour in Grand Prairie, and this is all coming from the south. So that smoke plume is going to move north, say north of 635 likely, uh, and the wind gusts, well, that is going to somewhat calm down mid morning before it kind of kicks back up. So depending on how long this fire lasts, of course, anywhere between 15 to 20 mile power wind gusts expected throughout the morning. And right now our air quality is at a moderate one step below good air quality. We'll keep an eye on this because it could change depending on how long that smoke plume sticks around. But if you are around that area, maybe you have some respiratory issues. Maybe kids are sensitive to this. You might want to limit time outside.